Feeling for something sweet and sour? Well, we got sweet and sour chicken in the kitchen and it's finger licking. Yes, you heard me right. We're making sweet and sour chicken today. So let's get started. The ingredients we're going to need multicolored bell peppers cut into strips, one medium carrot sliced diagonally, one medium onion diced, the juice from one orange, one third cup of apple cider vinegar. You can use the vinegar of your choice, one third cup plus two tablespoons of brown sugar half teaspoon of red food coloring and this is optional three quarter cup of ketchup one tablespoon of dark soy sauce one and a half pounds of bone in chicken breast dice two third cup of cornstarch plus two third cup of flour one egg and finally two tablespoon of chicken seasoning go ahead and toss the chicken in the seasoning Toss in the lightly beaten egg. Toss in the cornstarch and flour mixture. Make sure the chicken is properly coated in the cornstarch and flour mixture. Over medium high heat, deep fry the chicken in some hot oil until golden. Remove from the oil. Refry the chicken pieces until they're golden and completely cooked through. Oh, I love that sound. You know, this is our finished chicken. Let's prepare the sauce. In a skillet, place over medium I eat. Add one tablespoon of oil. Add the vinegar, the ketchup. The red food coloring if you're using the soy sauce. Add in the sugar. And the juice from one orange. That strong muscular Anne isn't mine. It's my husband. He's helping me out in the kitchen. Okay, let's get back to business. Toss the sauce to make sure all the ingredients are properly combined. Bring to boil and lower to simmer until thicken. Toss in your carrots and allow it to cook for about 4 minutes. Then toss in your onion dices and your bell peppers. And allow that to cook for about 3 minutes before you toss in the meat. Toss in your prepared chicken and make sure they're coated well into the sauce. For some reason, I feel like I'm in China. Sprinkle in some scallion slices. Let's go back to China. Well, I'm back in Jamaica. Now, after you've coated the chicken well into this beautiful sauce, you can go ahead and serve it with some fried rice. If you'd like to get the recipe for this fried rice, there's a link to the video in the description box below this video. If you enjoy this video, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more simple recipes.